Translators, have a dropped novel you want to read more chapters of. Zooting Rang said he would copy it several times, but it became several dozen times. Shen Jian and Li Dacian both buried their heads in copying. Only Mao Badu Bigland kept smacking his lips while writing. Hey, I didn't know it. Ting Rang is also a black hooded one. Signing a contract with someone in the contract only explains the regulations the other party must follow. It doesn't mention anything about what rules the business must follow. Zooting Rang glanced at him, then took out some paper and handed it to him, seeing that you write very easily. Copy a few more. Is this just a few more? You are avenging your personal revenge. Mao Badu yelled, but his writing speed became quicker. Originally, Zhao thought it would take a long time to copy a hundred copies, but Zooting Rang soon came out of the academy and gave her a thick stack of paper. The name of the other party is not written on it. Only if it is named will it be effective. He also just remembered this when he wrote the first contract, and therefore, he left the name column blank. None of you can write. How about I accompany you when I leave the library at night? This, Zhao said with uncertainty. Can't you fill in the name in advance? If you really accompany us, we won't be able to finish the run tonight. Besides, it is not good to walk at night. Do you remember everyone's name? Zhao nodded, and took out a brochure from her bosom. I can only remember roughly, but I have kept the account. Zhu Ting Rang became curious. She can't write, but can she keep accounts? He quickly took the booklet away from her, and Zhao didn't even have time to stop him. This was probably the first time she showed a panicked expression in front of Zhu Ting Rang, and she actually tried to snatch the book back. It's a pity that Zhu Ting Rang was prepared beforehand, so he refused to give it to her. He turned his back to her and quickly opened the booklet. You give it back, she pressed her whole body on his back. It's too late. Zhu Ting Rang looked at the symbols drawn on the brochure with a smile. There were symbols with dots and circles, grass like symbols, and three bars. Does this represent a river or a stream? There are also patterns in the shape of hills, dog heads, horse faces, etc. It was drawn with charcoal, and it was very simple, but there was some pattern in the drawings. Those who didn't know would have thought it was a wordless book. Zhao stretched out her hand and said, You give it back. This is where I keep the accounts. What you don't understand, only I can understand. Under the sun, the girl lay on the boy's back without scruple, and the two seemed to be laughing. It was nothing in the eyes of outsiders. After all, they are all teenagers, but in the eyes of Jiang Wu, the scene was particularly irksome to the eyes. He couldn't help but yelled, Zhao, what is Jiang Wu doing? Zhao was still unaware. Looking back at him, Jiang Wu's face froze for a while. Hurry up and talk about business. Ting Rang still has to go back to the academy. At this moment, Zhao also felt that this posture was a little bit wrong, and hurriedly stood up straight. Hurry up and return the booklet to me, and I will sign up for you. Then tell me what this is first. Zhu Tingrang pointed to a horse face, a large circle, and three patterns composed of a small hill, but his eyes glanced up at Jiang Wu. Zhao did not speak immediately, until Zhu Tingrang asked again, Did she say, This is Mardashan? It is a name. What about the circle at the back? Zhu Tingrang didn't dare to ask if the one with the bull's head and the circle at the back was NIU Dan 1. Zhao wiped her face helplessly, and according to the truth, a circle is 10 jin, or 10 units, and a dot is 1 jin or 1 unit, so you received 13 patties of vegetables from Mardashan. Zhu Tingrang tried to identify it. Zhao was so angry that she snatched the booklet and said, It's not 13 patties of vegetables, but 13 eggs. Okay, let's not talk about this anymore. I'll say the names and you will fill it in the contract. Zhu Tingrang didn't want to annoy her either, so he turned back to the academy to get his pen and ink. After a short while, he came out and helped her fill in the names. Don't look at Zhao's account and mock how it looks like a ghost painting. The dozens of names were actually correct. Zhu Qinghui still praised her for her good methods, and sometimes it was good to write down things that she couldn't remember in this way. Therefore, scholars and illiterate people are simply not in the same world. Hearing this kind of praise, Zhu Tingrang felt helpless. After writing, he pulled Zhao aside. Zhao, when I go back this time, I will teach you how to read. Read a daze flashed across Zhao's face, and then there was some surprise in her eyes and some anxiety, and asked, Is it possible? I have never heard of girls who can read. It seems that only young ladies from big families can read. She also felt that illiteracy was a little difficult in ordinary business, but she had never thought about learning. Why not? If I say it's okay, then it's okay. After watching Zhu Tingrang enter into the academy building, Zhao turned around and went back. Jiang Wu asked her, Zhao, what did Tingrang tell you just now? Jiang Wu, Jia, why are you asking about this? Zhao looked at him with suspicion. I was just curious, so I'm asking, oh, Tinja said that when he comes back next time, he will teach me to read. Seeing the faint smile on Zhao's face, Jiang Wu felt a little uncomfortable. He thought why wasn't he literate? If he was literate, he could teach Zhao to read. Without further ado, the three of them randomly found the roadside store to have lunch, and then they split up to find someone to sign the contract. It was Jiang Wu alone, Zhao and Zhu Qinghui. Jiang Wu wanted to be with Zhao, but Zhu Qinghui was not yet familiar with the situation, so Zhao could only follow him. Now Jiang Wu only hopes that Zhu Qinghui can work alone, so that he can get along with Zhao alone again. Zhao and Zhu Qinghui didn't come back until it was dark. Both of them were very tired. Zhu Qinghui untied the mule from the car and led it into the shed, put water and materials in its stone trough, and brushed the mule from head to toe before returning to the house. Sun Shi had already cooked the meal and asked the two of them to come and eat. She cooks alone. Sun Shi has been like this for the past few days. Until now, the fourth family had not gone to the main room and said that they would not eat together. But the fourth family did not take rice when cooking. Therefore, no one said anything. Now Sun Shi is very enthusiastic about Zhao, and it is probably because Zhu Qinghui also said something to her after returning. Knowing that this business is very profitable, and the person leading this business is Zhao, she could not offend this god of wealth. Sun Shi often urged her to go to the fourth room for dinner, and she couldn't refuse. In fact, she didn't want to have dinner with people from Dafen for a long time. It's not about other things, but that she does not feel relaxed at all when eating. Sometimes she doesn't understand Elder Zhu. The four families have four hearts. They are clearly separated, so I bother to pinch everyone together. Is it not plainly asking for trouble? But after all, she is a junior, and it is not easy to voice her dissatisfaction. So she just used the fourth family as a medium to start the process of eating separately in the future. Kuya is back. As soon as he was at the table, Sun Shi suddenly said this, making Zhu Qinghui and Zhao both stunned. Zuku Ia is the daughter of Elder Zhu and Zhao Xi. She is 16 this year and she is still in her boudoir waiting to marry. A while ago, Zuku Ia made a fuss about going to the Zhao Xi's family's home, which is her grandmother's home. This happened just in time for the farming season and Zhao Xi was bothered by her. So Zhu Qinghui sent her over. She lived there for more than a month and only came back today. Come back then, just come back. Zhu Qinghui frowned and said, This girl is immature and actually knows to come back. When mentioning this, something else should also be talked about. The Zhao family belongs to the nearby Heijia village, and it takes almost two hours to get from Yuking village to Heijia village. Zhao's father is dead, but her mother is still there. There are three brothers in her family, but the three brothers have separated. Zhao Xi's mother had been living with her eldest son, so instead of going to her grandmother's house, where Zuku Ia went was actually her eldest uncle's house. Eldest uncle Zhao has three sons. The first two sons are already married and have a lot of descendants, so they won't be mentioned here. Here we speak of the youngest son Zhao Jinru, the youngest son of the latest wife married to Uncle Zhao, who was commonly known as Yao in the countryside. Uncle Zhao lost his
It is also impossible to talk about people behind the scenes. As soon as I mentioned this matter here, Zuku Ia called her fourth brother in the yard. Soon after, she came in, took a look at Jawa, and said, Fourth brother, I'm back, yet you won't shut up. Dad told you to take the fourth sister-in-law to eat in the main room, and of course, also you, that you was addressed to Jawa. Zuku Ia was born with a silver face and big apricot eyes. This girl could dress up, wearing a fresh and tender apricot red jacket. The belt was tightly tied, making her waist look slender. Since young, Zuku Ia was the most beautiful girl in the village, and when she grew up, she was the most beautiful girl in the village. Unfortunately, since Ajawa came to the Zu family, this title has been robbed. She is obviously whiter than her, blessed with a face longer than hers, and eyes bigger than hers. Individually, Zuku Ia felt that she looked better than Jawa, but put together, she felt that she was not as pretty as her. Zuku Ia never thought that she was inferior to Jawa, but outsiders all thought this. At home, her most promising nephew likes Ajawa. Yes, the fact that Zujun Kai secretly likes Ajawa is only known by Zuku Ia in the entire Zu family. Outside, the boys in the village are all nice to Jawa. Only Jawa is in their eyes, and not her. Obviously, Jawa fights with them like a wild boy, dresses up plainly, never dolls up. On the other hand, she, Ia, was a flower. When Jawa was absent, she was the moon among stars, but as soon as Jawa came, she became a grass in the dirt. Thinking of these, Zuku Ia had no good attitude to Jawa. Especially when she came back this time and heard that it was because of Jawa's instigation that the family separated and fourth uncle began to distance himself from the family. Zuku Ia was even more unhappy with Jawa. However, due to Elder Zu's warning in advance, she could only smile and pretend to be affectionate. Little did she know her so. Called smiling face and pretending to be affectionate was so awkward that even the fourth family couple could see her deception. Some she quickly winked at Jawa, telling her to ignore Zuku Ia. Her little sister-in-law is in this house, except for the old couple, none of them really like her. It's just them who are daughters-in-law can't say this for the sake of face. Zu Qing Hui still wanted to decline, but it was a pity that Zuku Ia was staring at him. She was acting like a spoiled child while threatening them, so the four of them could only follow her to the main house. In the main room, everyone was there. There were many dishes on the two tables, and the dishes were very diverse. Sit down, Ku Ia is back today. Your mother has made some good dishes. The whole family should be sitting in one place and eating together. Elder Zhu's voice was low, and this your mother was not directed at anyone, but they all knew he was talking to Zhu Qinghui in this case, the son couldn't say no to these words, so the four sat down separately, during the meal, almost no one spoke, only Zhu Ia would say a few words to Zhao Xi for a while, and a few words to Elder Zhu for a while to warm up the atmosphere, after dinner, it is customary for the daughter-in-laws to clean up the mess, Zhu Qinghui was about to return to the house, but was stopped by Elder Zhu, you guys don't leave either, I have something to tell you, so, they all stayed. After a few days of not meeting, Elder Zhu had grown a lot older, and a few strands of silver hair had been added to his head. He had become more addicted to smoking, and the sound of pattering dry cigarettes rang in the hall. His sons had already tried to persuade him about his smoking addiction, but they couldn't change anything. In addition, in Yuking village, few elderly people did not smoke cigarettes, so they could only let him smoke. The place where Father Zhu sits on the can is shrouded in blue smoke. If it weren't for the smell of smoke, people who didn't know would have thought that there was a bodhisattva sitting there. Kui's marriage needs to be advanced. I thought that she would have a marriage at the end of the year, and wait for the grain to be collected in the field, which would be enough for her to dowry. But this advancement is unavoidable, and I do not have enough silver. Now, I can only count on you brothers to think of a method. Even the people in Tafan didn't know about this, and when they heard this, everyone was a little surprised. Son, she couldn't help asking. Everything was going well, so why is the date pushed forward? If they were not responsible to pay, no one would care about the early advancement. But Elder Zeus remarks clearly wanted everyone to pull in some money for Zuku E's dowry. It's not that when the girl gets married, the brothers and sisters in law shouldn't prepare a dowry for the sister. But when the families split up, it was clearly stated that the old couple were left six acres of land used to raise the old couple and Zuku Ea. When she got married, the other families wouldn't have to provide money for the dowry. No one expected this kind of thing to happen now. Zuku and Zuku Hui glanced at each other, and Zuku Hui asked, "Father, tell me, how much do each of our three families pay Father Zuku And said, "Each family should give at least two silvers, two yang silver." Three families mean six yang, not counting mum and dad's contribution. You don't need to mention how many betrothal gifts the man gives to a girl who marries, and you have to post a dozen yang. Dad, from the Zhao family, how much do they give? No, let's not keep a penny. Let Kuiya take it. Son, she said first. The so-called marriage custom states that the man's family must give a dowry to the woman, and if the female's family loves their daughter, they will usually also provide their daughter with a dowry. According to the local rules of Yuking village, the more a man's family gives to a woman's family, the more respect they have for the girl. However, they are all farmers, and the bride price is usually cloth, sugar, rice, noodles, meat, tea, etc. If the family is a little richer, they add two pieces of jewelry to the girl's dowry. Of course, there must be a bride price, ranging from three to four yang, and if more than six to eight yang. But they always have to pay some to thank the parents for their many years of nurturing. These dowry gifts are generally not for dowry but for the bride's parents. If the parents love their daughter, it's not impossible to place that money into the girl's dowry. Taking the family background of the Zhu family and the Zhao family as an example, they also pay eight or nine yang to show a good intention. Yes, mother, how much did the Zhao family give for the bride price? Zhou Xi asked. Zuku Ia, who was sitting on the side, had a dark expression but Zhao Xi violently pulled her when she wanted to say something. Zhao Xi stared at the two daughters-in-law. What? Your sister is getting married. Shouldn't you take some money out as dowry? Therefore, Zhao Xi is not a smart person. Every time she thinks she is smart, she ends up with something bad. If she can force the two daughters-in-law, then it's okay. However, her majesty and authority has disappeared in the past years. It was also Zhou Xi and Sun Xi knew her dispositions too well, and her attitude seemed strange. Mother, what are you talking about? What does it mean that we are unwilling to pay where sisters in law should pay? But shouldn't we know how much the bride price is? If one family speaks two families' words, then are we still considered sisters in law? Mother, it shouldn't be because the Zhao family didn't give a bride price. Zhao Xi became spiritless immediately. Separator, colon cow testicles. In Chinese, the word is cow and the word is egg. That is why Zhao drew a cow, head and egg. 